Pedro, what do you call yourself? I call myself... Um, that's a good question, Carl. Uh, what do you call yourself? I asked you first. You're right. So, um, when it, I'm a photographer. I'm a photographer, and that's easy, right? We shoot videos as well, right? And when I do it, I call myself a videographer because I come from the 90s, man. Cool. What about you? These days, I call myself a filmmaker. Okay. It took me a while to get to that point where I felt comfortable saying I was a filmmaker. And it was one of those things where I was like, am I really a filmmaker or am I a videographer? Do I just shoot videos or do I make films? And I always wanted to call myself a filmmaker. And I finally accepted that I'm a filmmaker. And But it kind of took making certain projects till I felt like I could do that. But I'm also a photographer, so sometimes... I feel like I need to say I'm a filmmaker photographer, but I just hate saying two words, long words. And I, I feel like it, it's, it's understood if I work with cameras that I can probably do photos too, but, but my background is in photography first. So I don't know. It's kind of confusing. And when would be the perfect time to call yourself a cinematographer? Or is this a distinction between people that make real movies? I would say a cinematographer is when you're working on a bigger team project where each person has a specific role and the cinematographer's role, well, it's different than a DP. DP is just kind of a camera operator, whereas a cinematographer could be a camera operator as well as somebody that plans out the shots and deals with lighting too. So... When we talk about Steven Spielberg, what is Steven Spielberg? I think of him as a director. Director. Yeah. So give me an example of a cinematographer. Uh, Roger Deakins. What about a filmmaker? Uh, Peter McKinnon. <laughs> <laughs> no, YouTuber. YouTuber. But I would call a filmmaker like Wes Anderson. Oh, Interesting. What I about a, what about a videographer? Is that videographer still, is, is your your local wedding videographer that just shoots weddings and um, a weddingographer. A weddingographer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think a videographer to me, I just think of a uh, somebody that shoots videos but isn't in the film industry. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. What about going a little bit larger? and going to the creator spectrum. So who is a creator? Am I a creator? Is God a creator? Who is the, the real creator? Yeah, I mean, I feel like these days the, the term creator is used pretty broadly for anybody that puts out... A drawing. <laughs> yeah, and like puts out any kind of content on social media, probably mostly, or YouTube. Um, you know, it could be an Instagram influencer could call themselves a creator. And in, in my mind, I don't know how much they're really creating. And I agree but. that we, you have to call yourself something. But every time I, I hear creator, it's really the one that annoys me more. Yeah. What about content creator? <laughs> annoys me less. <laughs> less? Yeah, less. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because creator is like, I am the creator. Yeah, yeah. It's it like, sounds kind of weird. Content creator, though, I feel like it even to me it even cheapens it further. Like, that's good you're, because it, yeah, it's kind of cheap stuff we more do. More humbling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I call myself a content creator sometimes if I'm talking to a client that that seems like they would re be more receptive to that. That they want to create content for their Instagram. You can adapt to the. I'm a content creator. You can adapt to the client. Exactly. He, he wants a cinematographer. I can I'm be a one. Yeah. Well, I know. F stops and uh, shutter yeah. speeds. You need a director? I'll be a director today. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, because as a filmmaker, you kind of you can be any one of those things: uh, a DP, a director, a producer, a screenplay writer. They can all be filmmakers. That's true. It's pretty broad. And they're all creators. And they're all creators. You know, it's it's like genres of music. It can get kind of ridiculous, but but they're helpful when you're when you're trying to quickly explain to people what the hell you do. And so it's nice to have your like 
This is my answer. Your little elevator pitch or whatever. I like, I'm, I'm very literal. So when people say filmmaker, I'm like film. I still, I, I, I think about cellu celluloid uh, and like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. so videographer for me makes sense in most of what I do when it comes to video. Yeah. Because well, I have this know, thing of film being a film, being a movie. That, in here in Costa Rica, in Spanish, at least what I've found the direct, most direct translation from filmmaker is cinista. But cinista is like, if you tell somebody that, they, they expect that you're making a movie. Very, okay. very literally, like you are making cinema, you are making a movie. So to call yourself a cinista um, and just make, do freelance Filmmaking doesn't, I don't think, work in Spanish. I haven't quite found the perfect word to use in Spanish. <laughs> well, whatever. In the end, you're just doing what? I think, creating. honestly, creating. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think creator for me, I never call myself a creator. I feel it's like... I'm going to call you a creator from now on. Well, thank you. The creator. The uh, Tyler. Pedro the creator. Yeah. 